this all set. Bang, bang. I'm using my feet to move the golf club to initiate the swing. Bang. And through. <laughs> I'm going to keep going this way through. Hey, Barry here from Over 50 Golf. Remember the teeter-totter when you were a kid in the playground, playing with a friend, you know, going back and forth on that thing, just bouncing around, how much fun it was? Well, the balance board for golf is very similar, and it's a lot of fun, too, and they're, they're easy to use. They're fantastic to help you with the footwork and that overall swing sequence and that flowing action in the golf swing. Easy to build. You know, I've just built this one with some scrap wood that I found around the house, you know, it's got a piece of wood on the bottom here, one by two or whatever, some old scrap here, and they're build a platform, fantastic for just swinging. Just gonna put it down here. Trying to get balanced here, and I'm just gonna do some little back swings back and then forward, just back and through. So just some half swings here. It really helps me to free up my feet and feel what my feet are doing in the golf swing to move the golf club. See, I'm not really doing anything here with the club, and I'm just gonna work on my feet back and forth and look what's happening to the club. It's just kind of moving. It's moving with my mass, you know, my pressure and my feet shifting back and forth, and that's moving the golf club. And that's what we want to feel in the golf club. It's nice rhythmical action. It's easy, it's free. Back and through. It's actually moving the club. I'm not trying to move the club here. It's just kind of going back and forth. Getting this good action here, good free swing. Just getting the feet primed, getting them to go early in the swing. A lot of golfers struggle with, you know, they're too static and they're trying to position the golf club where they start here and then they tick, 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 and trying to wind up and then trying to have this dynamic, you know, through swing and downswing, this explosive action. And that's, that's, that's hard to do. You know, the golf swing is such an explosive action where we're going from zero to a hundred in less than a second, just bang and through. And that's, so I've got the balance board here. I get myself balanced. I start with and get set. So I want to to move that club. Well, it's hard to move from a static position. If I start from the stationary position and try to move the golf club, that's really hard. You know, I want to get my feet activated and get the weight going early and get the pressure moving in my feet to kind of move the golf club. And it's a lot easier in the body for turning and pivoting. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to start with a counter push here. So I'm going to get a little bit of a push into my lead side to move that club and then how am I going to move the club back well if I'm here and I'm kind of just moving my arms and swinging my upper body and trying to turn it that's really hard and difficult and I start to feel some stress in my back and hips and it you know it's really awkward as opposed to well here I just step back into that right foot I'm, so I'm going back into that right heel and look what happens to the golf club I'm not trying to guide it it's just it's just swinging back there if I let this club go it would just go flying back here I'm using the pressure and that moving pressure to swing that club back. I'm into that right heel very early. The club is like parallel to the ground and I'm just socking down into that right heel. And then it's just a lot easier to wind up and move into that trail side when I do that. Here, boom. And then up to the top. And then I've got this good loaded position here where I'm socked down into that right heel. Look at this pelvic turn here. The knees come in. I made this good loaded turn into the back swing and boom. And now it's a lot easier just to move back into that lead side where I get this good early pressure shift where I move back into that lead foot to start the down swing. Here, here, boom. Back and boom. And actually that lead side shift of going back toward the target happens a lot earlier than you think in the back swing. So I could start going back and then dynamically, if I, I got this flow here, I'm rearing back here to get the club back. Well, bang, it's a lot easier to start and boom, go through on that downswing. Rather than waiting, I've got this, you know, rather than waiting and kind of positioning and then widening up and then I'm trying to, you know, move back toward the target. That's hard to do. So here I've got this dynamic action to move the golf club. So here onto my lead side and then wham, back into that trail side. And look what happens to my golf club. It just goes flying back. I can't manipulate it. It's just kind of going there. So here and then back into that right heel. Boom. Feels good too. It's easy on the body. You get this good rhythmical action and boom, I'm turning from the ground up and the body just wants to open up and this trail side, the right hip for me, I'm a right handed golfer. This guy goes behind me, the right leg straightens out naturally. Get this good free turn. 
nice dynamic action. And it's a lot easier, boom, to move back into that lead side to start down here, here, boom. Really early, like you go here and bang, you know, the arm is parallel to the ground and I'm just socked back into this left side just to start moving forward and boom. So it really helps you with the sequence of the swing and flow and the swing and the footwork. Bang, bang. It's one of the best swing aids around. It's simple, right? It gets you moving. You're not thinking, you're just moving, which is what we need in the golf swing. Focusing on the footwork, I'm not thinking about trying to position the club with my hands and arms. Wham, wham. feels good and it's a lot of fun and you can hit balls with it too. It's interesting when you hit balls. Watch the footwork and the torquing that's going on. I'm not going to try to hit the ball hard now. I'm just trying to make a good swing motion and keep moving. Get myself set here. I'll get positioned. I'm just going to do a little bit of a motion here back and forth. Increase it, increase it, increase it. Look at that, that torquing and twisting action to swing the golf club. Just happens dynamically and naturally. I'm not trying to force that. It's interesting how that happens. Do that again. Get myself set. Bang, bang. So I'm using my feet to move the golf club to initiate the swing. Bang. And through <laughs> I'm gonna keep going this way through it. It's really lively and I'm moving from heel to heel and turning really well. For those of you that struggle with you know early extending and that you're not gonna be able to do that when you're on the balance board because you're turning and pivoting, you're going from heel to heel, you're not gonna early extend, you're gonna rotate, make a good free rotation back and through with your lower body. Early extension is a result of just lack of rotation. It's, not so much that early extension is bad. Everybody early extends to some point. It's just that when you don't get much rotation with it, that's the disaster. And that makes it difficult to hit the golf ball consistently. So again, just get the club moving with my feet. Boom. Just feels great. Good, lively action. Surprising how well you can hit the ball when you're on the balance board here. Footwork going to move the golf club. Boom. Those are solid and just ripping at it without trying to force it. I'm using the ground, using my feet, and boom, getting lots of speed through. Again. Just rocking back and forth. I got the teeter board going here, back and through. Boom. Great way to work on the dynamics of the golf swing. You don't have to think too much. You just got lots of good feel going. Go from heel to heel, some good footwork. You'll be surprised how good you hit the golf ball, how well you hit it. So get one of these things. Use it, practice with it. They're a lot of fun. Put some fun back in your golf swing. Fair from over 50 golf. If there's anything else you want to see in some swing tips and lessons, throw them in the comments. Be happy to deal with them. Let's keep playing golf. Let's keep having fun. Get on that teeter board.